Hello viewers, myself Sushmita Danda from Skill Development Institute, Bhuvaneshwar, working as a PI trainer under Siemens COE. Let's start uh, the overview of process instrumentation. So our course is PI technician and controller. So we will have a discussion about what is a process instrumentation and some uh, information about the signals. So this course generally it is the students who are eligible for this course, uh, they should complete diploma or BTEC in instrumentation, chemical, engineering, electrical or electronics engineering. So let's have an overview of a process uh, instrumentation. Generally, what is uh, the process instrumentation? It is uh, comprising of two words. One is process, another is instrumentation. Process is nothing but it is deal, it is dealing with physical parameters in industrial uses, industrial applications, and that physical parameter generally they are non-electrical in nature. And instrumentation deals with conver conversion of this parameters into electrical form which is fed to the controller to use any uh, control of operations. So the process instrumentation is comprised of sensors and various instruments to monitor and maintain process control equipment for improved production, product consistency, consistency, quality management and workplace safety in manufacturing and processing facilities. The major focus of this PI lab is on the application of electronics and associated technology to instrumentation, industrial automation, process control systems, and commonly used sensors. Sensors are, uh, nowadays we are using various types of sensors in household, in workplace, also in industrial uses. Without the sensors, nowadays the life is not possible. In the Siemens COE, uh, in our PI lab, we are dealing with the software Sematic PCS7 version 9.0 which is totally an integrated automation portal and which gives the solution of all levels of industrial automation. Now comes to the, the basic of instrumentation. So this is the structure of the instrumentation system. Here the main work is of a transducer. What is a transducer? The transducer for process measurement converts the magnitude of a process variable. Example, the process variable can be a flow, rate, pressure, temperature, label or concentration into a signal that can be sent directly to a controller. So this is a block diagram. Here, in the first block we are having a sensing element. Sensing element, it will take or it will sense any type of non-physical, any type of physical quantity or a non-electrical parameter which is called as the measured quantity or process variable. The sensor will sense and it will give or send to transmitter or transducer where it goes for conversion of the you know, conversion of that uh, physical parameter into an electrical form. And there also we are going for various signal conditioning process then amplification all these things. Then finally it is given or sent to the controller. So this is the transducer part. The sensing element is required to convert the measured quantity that is the process variable into some quantity more appropriate for mechanical or electrical processing. Generally this is used for the mechanical or electrical processing within the transducer. In earlier age uh, or in uh, that is in 1960s or 70s, instrumentation in the process industry, it utilizes the pneumatic pressure, pneumatic signals that is air pressure to transmit measurement and control information almost exclusively. The devices make use of mechanical force balance elements to generate signals in the range of 30 to, uh, 3 to 15 PSIG which is uh, can be calculated as 0 0.2 to 1.0 kg per centimeter square. Since about 1960 to 70, the electronics instrumentation has come into a widespread use where the uh, we are uh, dealing with various types of signal in uh, that can be a voltage signal or current signal. This is a diagram of sensor which are uh, the generally the sensors are a part of everyday life at home and work. 
So the sensor is a combination of sensor and conditioning device which together enable process parameter to be measured remotely from actual size, actual site of process measurement. So here you see a person in a room, if, uh, your, if your light is on, then uh, it will be sensed by any sensor. And after that, if you are coming out of the room, then that can be automatically switch off. This is a plant site where we are measuring uh, the parameters of a liquid, the uh, parameters of a fluid. A fluid can be any type of, it can be a liquid, it can be a water, it can be a viscous fluid. So uh, in a tank, if a water is there, so in that if you want, we have to stabilize the various parameter. That parameter can be label, it can be a pressure or it can be flow. So to stabilize that or to monitor or to analyze the various parameters, we are using various type of industrial smart transmitters or sensors. <coughs> that is, this one is a level transmitter, this one is a flow transmitter or we can use or we can take install a pressure transmitter which will measure the pressure at uh, the remote site or uh, uh, programmer uh, he will continuously monitoring the, or analyzing, analyzing the various parameters over the semantic or over the software which are used in the industrial application and that signal also it can be given to the PLC or DCS for any control operation. So the transmitter enables process variable PV to obtain at the receiving end for display or recording of display or recording or further analysis. So how this uh, sensor are categorized, generally we are having the five types of sensors. <coughs> Based on that five type of sensors, the sensors are categorized. That is to see, feel, hear, smell and test. These are the general sensors. And by taking this main five parameters, we can categorize the various type of sensor. So this is a plant batch process where the temperature and pressure are displayed and it can be controlled as a result of output from the sensors. So this is a process current status where a programmer can see or visualize if they can, he can go for commissioning or he can go for configuration of the device or we can go for any analysis of the parameters inside the plant. We can check out the temperature and also we can we can check out the temperature and pressure analysis. So here is a tank where you are using a temperature sensor to monitor the increase and increase in the temperature of the uh, uh, any type of process is going on in the industry. It can be a food beverages industry, it can be a pharmaceutical industry and here there is we are connecting a pressure sensor to monitor any increase in the pressure of the parameter fluid value and the input which is this is given to the PLC or DCS controller and the output, it is generally used to control any type of operation. So, uh, in process control, sensors are generally uh, classified as the active and passive sensors. So, uh, the main in industry, the instrumentation based on signals, the main criteria is on signal and this, uh, next is sensor. As the sensor which are categorized into active and passive sensor, let's see what is active and passive sensor. The active sensor produces the output voltage without active sensor that produces an uh, output voltage without an external excitation or any uh, power supply. But the passive sensor, it requires an external excitation to produce an electrical output. The general configuration of a measurement transducer consists of a sensing element combined with a driving element or transmitter. So here see the thermal couple it is uh, attached with it, it can be acted as in active mode or passive mode when the power supply is used that is called, called as a passive mode when there is no power supply it is called as an active mode and here that temperature it is converted through the transmitter in form of voltage signal. This is a general example citing with three steps how a thermocouple temperature it is converting converted to uh, a voltage signal. A thermocouple will produce a voltage output from 8 to 18 millivolt here in this diagram. The 0 to 40 degree centigrade 
it is uh, absorbed by the thermocouple, sensed by the thermocouple. And after that, it is at the transmitter or transducer, it is converted to 8 to 18 millivolt. Next, that uh, since we condition that 8 millivolt to 18 millivolt thermocouple voltage, and it is converted to 4 milliamps to 20 milliamps according to industry standard. So, there is a range for when it is we are converting to a current, the range should be from 4 to 20 milliamps. So, this is the form where the transmitter or any type of smart transmitter, it is taking up the voltage in 8 to 18 millivolt and this 8 to 18 millivolt, it is calibrated in a form of changing the output current in form of 4 to 20 milliamps. So, any parameters which are used in industry or any transmitters which are used in industry which are pressure, temperature, sensor, uh, sorry, uh, flow, the whatever the range they are having, they are calibrated in such a way they, uh, which they will uh, give an output in form of 4 to 20 milliamps. That is the benefit or that is the importance of a uh, Siemens to smart transmitters. So, let's categorize what are the various smart transmitters. The four major process variables measured and represented by a transmitter and uh, according to which the transmitters are categorized. One is pressure, second is label, temperature and flow. Pressure, the pressure of the flow, uh, the pressure of any uh, fluid can be uh, measured out. It can be, uh, we can measure with a uh, gauge pressure, differential pressure or absolute pressure. Label, various types of label sensors or transmitters are used like uh, based on ultrasonic radar <coughs> or capacitive. Then temperature sensor, we can use a TH300, RTD or thermocouple. Next is flow, to measure the flow of any uh, uh, liquid or any fluid. Uh, here also we are using the various principles based on Coriolis principle, ultrasonic or MAC flow. Besides the four types of sensors which are used in various industrial uh, application that is oil and petroleum industry, pharmaceutical industry or food and beverages industry. Some are uh, other, some other transmitters are there like uh, positional transmitter, speed transmitter, pH and conductivity transmitter. These transmitters are used in industry to measure the other variables such as uh, we are uh, according to this diagram the position speed and the chemical properties which are uh, generally the pH and conductivity. So, the rest of the signals are categorized uh, or it is uh, are, the rest of the signals categ categories are converted locally into a more general understood form of signal either in voltage or in form of signal or in the form of current before uh, it is going to the control system. Before giving to our PLC or DCS, the signal can be converted to it in the form of analog or it can be converted in the form of digital. Digital means the signal output is in form of on and off or we can tell it as a binary 1 or 0. The analog sensor, it gives the output in form of a range of a signal, range of values. So, we are having, uh, since uh, we are uh, discussing about uh, signals and uh, the mode of the signal, it can be analog or it can be a uh, current, uh, it can be a analog mode or it can be a current mode. So, in analog mode, the mode of analog inputs, when it is fed to uh, any controller, so we are having various uh, sensor here and the output of this sensor which is fed to the controller, the input of this sensor which is fed to the controller and the output from this controller, it can control the various process here. This is a dimmer, one sensor, this is thermocouple, speed motor sensor and this one is a proximity sensor. And generally these types of sensors at the output side, it, uh, used, it is used in controlling the brightness of a bulb. Next, it can control the output of a heat source. Also, it can control the speed of a motor or it can control, control uh, counter counts, counter of uh, the count of a counter. Next is the current mode. In current mode, generally uh, nowadays the industry is using the current mode analog inputs as because in current mode there is no introduction or there is no noise humidity occurring inside the signal. <coughs> While the voltage input is capable of almost everything, 
and uh, before the days uh, we are using the voltage signal uh, always we need in general applications because of the noise interference that is the main factor from other devices the current mode signal transmission is a better choice of signals that need to travel over any real distance so for this reason now we are changing or we are uh, taking the application in form of current inputs so this is a smart transmitter which is giving a signal in form of, which is giving a current of 4 to 20 milliamp and which is fed to a controller so this is the overview of about the smart transmitters the instrumentation and the uh, some uh, basics about the signal which are used in the industrial applications let's our discussion what uh, we have in pi lab the pi lab it consists of citron filled instruments and that citron filled instrument it is uh, comprises of the transmitters the transmitters are categorized according to label pressure temperature flow and we are having a positioner valve in order to maintain the uh, maintain any type of parameter when the fluid is passing inside a uh, tunnel or inside a pipeline the positioner valve is used uh, helping in the, the flow of any uh, flow of or pressure or pressure of oh, sorry flow and uh, the level of any type of fluid dcs is used as a controller the software which is generally we are provided in here it is uh, the software which is used to access the field instrument and also the dcs it is uh, semantic manager step 7 which is the core component of, for configuring the citron field instruments and the semantic pca7 process control system is for the engineering system the citron rack the citron field instrument it is uh, provided in a citron rack the rack composed of the various uh, elements or various transmitters based on the various uh, categorized according to the uh, various processes like pressure, temperature, sensor, uh, temperature level. So, the various transmitters or instruments are TH300, then Citrus Mass 6000 Coriolis 4 transmitter. This is based on the Coriolis principle. Citrus P300 pressure transmitter. This is based on absolute pressure and gauge pressure. Citrus first 060 ultrasonic flow transmitter. It is based on the principle of ultrasonic pressure gauges, ultrasonic flow meter, Citrus PDS3. This is under differential pressure transmitter, pressure gauges, spike guard, terminal connector. These are the small utilities given in the rack. Then Citrus first Sono 330. This is also a flow transmitter in form the based on the principle of ultrasonic. Citrus FMAC. FMAC 5100 which is blind handover. Next, in the rack 2, we are provided with the various label transmitters LR250 that is radar label transmitter based on the radar principle. Second is Citrans Probe LU ultrasonic label transmitter which is based also on the ultrasonic principle. Pointex CLS 200 RF which is based on the capacitance formula. Uh, it is based on the you know, dielectric medium of a capacitor and then the, the main one is a CIPAD PS2 smart electro pneumatic positioner. So these things are provided with in a Citroen field instrument, Citroen uh, rack. So this is the overview about the process instrumentation and about our lab which is uh, provided by Siemens CEOE under Skill Development Institute Foundation. Thank you.